everyone welcome back to my channel so here we are with the first part of the chapter plant kingdom so without wasting time let's get started with the chapter in the previous chapter we looked at the broad classification of living organisms under the system proposed by Whitaker in 1969 wherein he suggested the five kingdom classification which is Monera, Protista, Fungi, Animalia and Plantae. In this chapter, we will deal in detail with further classification within Kingdom Plantae, popularly known as the Plant Kingdom. We must stress here that our understanding of Plant Kingdom has changed over time. Fungi and the members of Monera and Protista, having cell walls, have now been excluded from Plantae, though earlier classification placed them in the same kingdom. So the cyanobacteria that also referred to as blue-green algae are not algae anymore. In this chapter, we will describe algae, braphytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms under plant. Let us also look at the classification within angiosperms to understand some of the concerns that influenced the classification systems. The earliest systems of classification used only gross superficial morphological characters such as habit, color, number and shape of leaves, etc. They were based mainly on the vegetative characters or on the androsium structure. Such systems were artificial. They separated the closely related species since they were based on a few characteristics. Also, the artificial systems give equal weightage to vegetative and sexual characteristics. This is not acceptable since we know that often the vegetative characters are more easily affected by environment. As against this, natural classification systems developed which were based on the natural affinities among the organisms and considered not only the external features, but also the internal features like ultrastructure, anatomy, embryology, and phytochemistry. Such a classification for flowering plants was given by George Bentham and Joseph Delton Hooker. At present, phylogenetic classification systems based on evolutionary relationships between the various organisms are acceptable. This assumes that the organisms belonging to the same taxa have a common ancestor. We now use information from many other sources to help to resolve the difficulties in classification. This becomes more important when there is no supporting fossil evidence. Numerical taxonomy, which is now easily carried out using computers, is based on all observable characteristics. Numbers and codes are assigned to all characters and the data are then processed. In this way, each character is given equal importance and at the same time, hundreds of characters can be considered. Cytotaxonomy that is based on the cytological information like chromosome number, structure, behavior and chemotaxonomy that uses the chemical constituents of the plant to resolve confusions are also used by the taxonomic these days. Algae. Algae are chlorophyll bearing, simple, thalloid, autotrophic and largely aquatic organisms. They occur in variety of other habitats, moist stones, soils and wood. Some of them also occur in association with fungi like lichen and animals like on sloth bear. The form and size of algae is highly variable ranging from colonial forms like volvox and the filamentous forms like eulithrix and spirogyra. A few of marine forms such as kelps form massive plant bodies. The algae reproduce by vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation. Each fragment develops into a thallus. Asexual reproduction is by the production of different types of spores, the most common being the zoo spores. They are flagellated, motile and on germination gives rise to new plants. Sexual reproduction takes place through fusion of two gametes. These gametes can be flagellated and similar in size, as in Eulothrix, or non-flagellated, non-motile, but similar in size, as in Spirogyra. Such reproduction is called isogamous. Fusion of two gametes, dissimilar in size, as in species of Eudorina, 
is termed as anisogamous. Fusion between one large non-motile static female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete is termed as oogamous, example in volvox and fucus. Algae are useful to man in variety of ways. At least half of the total carbon dioxide fixation of earth is carried out by algae through photosynthesis. Being photosynthetic, they increase the level of dissolved oxygen in their immediate environment. They are of paramount importance as primary producers of energy-rich compounds which form the basis of food cycles of all aquatic animals. Many species of porphyra, laminaria and sargassum are among the 70 species of marine algae used as food. Certain marine brown and red algae produce large amount of hydrocolloids, example algae that is brown algae and carrageen that is red algae which are used commercially. Agar, one of the commercial products obtained from gelidinium and glaceralia are used to grow microbes and in preparation of ice creams and jellies. Chlorella, that is unicellular agar, rich in proteins, is also used as food supplement even by space travelers. The algae are divided into three main classes, chlorophyce, pheophyce, and rhodophyce. Chlorophyce the members of chlorophyce are commonly called green algae. The plant body may be unicellular, colonial or filamentous. They are usually grass green due to the dominance of pigments chlorophyll A and B. The pigments are localized in definite chloroplast. The chloroplast may be discoid, plate-like, reticulate, cup-shaped, spiral or ribbon-shaped in different species. Most of the members have one or more storage bodies called pyrenoids located in the chloroplast. Pyrenoids contain protein besides starch. Some algae may store food in form of oil droplet. Green algae usually have a rigid cell wall made of inner layer of cellulose and an outer layer of pectose. Vegetative reproduction usually takes place by fragmentation or by formation of different types of spores. Asexual reproduction is by flagellated zoospores produced in zoosporangia. The sexual reproduction shows considerable variation in type and formation of sex cells that may be isogamous, anisogamous or oogamous. Some commonly found green algae are Chlamydomonas, Volvox, Uleothrix, Spirogyra and Cara. Pheophyce. The members of Pheophyce or brown algae are found primarily in marine habitats. They show great variation in size and form. They range from simple branch filamentous forms, example Actocarpus, to profusely branched forms as represented by cats, which may reach to the height of 100 meters. They possess chlorophyll A, C, carotenoids, and xanthophylls. They vary in color from olive green to various shades of brown depending on the amount of xanthophyll pigment, fucoxanthin, present in them. Food is stored as complex carbohydrates which may be in form of laminarin or mannitol. The vegetative cells have a cellulosic wall usually covered on outside by a gelatinous coating of algae. The protoplast contains, in addition to plastids, a centrally located vacuole and nucleus. The plant body is usually attached to the substratum by a hold fast and has a stalk, the stip and leaf-like photosynthetic organ called the front. Vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation. Asexual reproduction in most of the brown algae is by biflagellate zoospores that are pear-shaped and have two unequal laterally attached flagella. Sexual reproduction may be isogamous, anisogamous or oogamous. Union of gametes may take place in water or within the oogonium. The gametes are pyriform that is pure shaped and bear two laterally attached flagella. The common forms are Actocarpus, Dictyota, Laminaria, Sargassum and Fucus. Rhodophyce. 
The members of Rhodophyce, a commonly called red algae because of the predominance of red pigment, are phycoerythrin in their body. Majority of red algae are marine with greater concentrations found in the warmer areas. They occur in both well-lighted regions close to the surface of water and also at great depth in oceans where relatively little light penetrates. The red thalli of most of the red algae are multicellular. Some of them have complex body organization. The food is stored in fluoridine starch which is very similar to amylopactin and glycogen in structure. The red algae usually reproduce vegetatively by fragmentation. They reproduce asexually by non-motile spores and sexually by non-motile gametes. Sexual reproduction is oogamous and accompanied by the complex post-fertilization developments. The common members are polysymphonia, porphyra, gracilaria, and gelidinum. Bryophytes Bryophytes include the various mosses and liverworts that are found commonly growing in moist shaded areas in the hills. Bryophytes are also called amphibians of plant kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction. They usually occur in damp, humid and shaded localities. They play an important role in plant succession on bare rocks or soil. The plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae. It is thallus-like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. They lack true roots, stems or leaves. They may possess root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structures. The main plant body of bryophyte is haploid. It produces gametes, hence called gametophyte. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. The male sex organ is called antheridium. They produce biflagellate anthrozoids. The female sex organ is called archegonium. It is flask shaped and produces a single egg. The anthrozoids are released into water where they come in contact with archegonium. An anthrozoid fuses with the egg to produce zygote. Zygote does not undergo reduction division immediately. They produce a multicellular body called sporophyte. The sporophyte is not free living but attached to the photosynthetic gametophyte and derives the nourishment from it. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo reduction division, that is by meiosis, to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce gametophyte. Bryophytes in general are of little economic importance, but some mosses provide food for herbaceous mammals, birds, and other animals. Species of sphagnum, a moss, provide peat that have long been used as fuel and as packing material for transshipment of living material because of their capacity to hold water. Mosses, along with lichens, are the first organisms to colonize rocks and hence are of great ecological importance. They decompose rocks, making the substrate suitable for growth of higher plants. Since mosses form dense mat on soil, they reduce the impact of falling rain and prevent soil erosion. The bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses. Liverworts The liverworts grow usually in moist, shady habitats such as banks of streams, marshy ground, damp soil, bark of trees and deep in woods. The plant body of liverworts is thalloid, example, Marcantia. The thallus is dorsiventral and closely oppressed to the substrate. The leafy members have tiny leaf-like appendages in two rows on the stem-like structures. Asexual reproduction in liverworts takes place by fragmentation of thalli or by the formation of specialized structures called gem. The gem are green, multicellular, asexual buds which developed in small receptacles called jam cups located on the thalli. The jam becomes detached from the parent body and germinate to form new individuals. During sexual reproduction, male and female sex organs are produced either on the same or on different thalli. 
The sporophyte is differentiated into foot, seta and capsule. After meiosis, spores are produced within the capsule. These spores germinate to form free living gametophytes. Mosses The predominant stage of the life cycle of moss is the gametophyte which consists of two stages. The first stage is the protonema stage which develops directly from the spore. It is the creeping, green, branched and frequently filamentous stage. The second stage is the leafy stage which develops from the secondary protonema as lateral bud. They consist of upright, slender axis bearing spidely arranged leaves. They are attached to the soil through multicellular and branched rhizoids. This stage bears the sex organs. Vegetative reproduction in mosses is by fragmentation and budding in the secondary protonema. In sexual reproduction, the sex organs Anthridia and Archegonia are produced at the apex of leafy shoots. After fertilization, the zygote develops into sporophyte and consisting of foot, seta and capsule. The sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than living warts. The capsule contains spores. Spores are formed after meiosis. The mosses have an elaborate mechanism of spore dispersal. Common examples of mosses are Phrenaria, Polytrichum and Sphagnum. So the next topic that is Stereophytes will be available to you in the part 2. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And if you find this useful, share it with your friends. Bye bye.